my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 9 in this lecture we will try to understand few more problems on construction of nfa example 1 construct a nfa for la for language capital l which accepts all the strings in which the third symbol from right end is always a right end means what over sigma equal to a comma b what does it mean from right end means this is first position this is second position this is third position the third position you must it must always a that's what it says it must always a means that's what i am keeping here a what does it mean in first position there is no restriction i can keep a or b in second position also there is no restriction i can keep a or b therefore just see let me say q not q not on a i will go to q1 but after q1 i can keep a or b therefore i am writing a comma b after that also i can keep a or b therefore i am writing a comma b after that i am stretched to final state i need not bother about what happens before this a that's why i am keeping self loop this is corresponding nfa now just see this example 2 what it says construct nfa for the following language the set of strings over alphabet 0 to 9 such that final digit has appeared before final digit means for example this is a q not is initial state your q1 is final state here final digit means in this case zero is final digit this final digit appeared what it says final digit appeared before means this zero must be appear before that's what it says zero is appearing here even zero is also appearing in between this zero and this zero any number of digit from zero to nine is allowed in that manner just see this is final digit one again it is appearing one here in between any number of any digit from 0 to 9 is allowed isn't it what about this number 2 this 2 before this one also this is final this 2 this 2 is also appearing here too in between any digit 0 to 9 is allowed that similarity that similar analogy can be applicable for the uh, other cases isn't it yes what about third example construct nfa for uh, the following language the set of strings for alphabet 0 to 9 so that final digit has not appeared before final digit has not appeared means here zero is final digit it must not appear therefore i am keeping epsilon therefore in between also zero should not appear therefore i am i am not writing zero that's why i am writing 1 to 9 what about here here digit is 1 this must not appear before that's why i am keeping epsilon here that one must not appear in between also that's why i am writing zero i am not writing one directly i am writing two what about next case this is two two should not appear before i am keeping epsilon in between also zero one therefore i am skipping number two here in that manner you can understand other transitions example four what it says construct nfa uh, for the language the set of strings of zeros and ones says that there are two zeros separated by number of positions that is multiple of four note that zero is an allowable multiple of four what does it mean a question is simple there must be two zeros this two zeros is separated by ones how many ones that ones must be multiples of four that means that may be there may be four ones that may be eight ones there may be 12 ones there may be 16 ones like this that's what it says it must start with zero and end with zero in between you can keep number of ones as a multiples of four multiples of four in the sense you can understand 4 8 12 16 like that how will it be uh, what it says let me say my uh, uh, let me say our q not is initial state this is q not is initial state and q2 is initial state it must start with zero yes it's starting with zero it must also end with zero but in between here you can keep number of ones as a multiple of four multiple of four means there may be four ones eight ones 12 ones 16 ones like that this is q not i am feeding zero it starts with zero again again this is ends with zero in between i need ones as a multiple of four just let me consider the simplest case 
the simplest case means I must have four ones for first one, second one, third one, fourth one. If I get fifth one, this is fifth one, sixth, seventh, eighth. Just see, in that manner you can understand. Uh, even th this will be the multiples of uh, that four uh, ones must be multiples of four, isn't it? Now, construct uh, DFA and NFA. L equal to W belongs to 0, 1, comma star containing substring 0, 1, 0. This also you can understand. It is a straightforward problem. You can go through it. What it, what it says, last example, draw the transition diagram for NFA which accepts strings with uh, either two consecutive zeros or two uh, consecutive ones. Uh, two consecutive zeros or consecutive ones means let me say Q0 is initial state. Q3 is final state. Two consecutive means for first zero I am here. As for second zero I will go to Q3. Therefore, 0, 0 is accepted. Or 1, 1 is also accepted. This is 0, 0. Or plus means 1, 1. Before that, you can keep any number of zeros and ones. Here also you can keep any number of zeros and ones. Thank you very much.